In the UK, it is estimated that almost one in two households own a pet. This equates to approximately 22 million pets having homes. But for all of those pets with loving homes, there are still an alarming number of stray animals in the UK. Figures reveal a shocking 100,000 stray and abandoned dogs were picked up by authorities across the UK over the last 12 months, equating to a staggering 325 stray dogs being found every day. There are roughly 2,000 animal rescue centres in the UK alone, with over 50 situated in the Midlands. Fairwind Shelter, located in the picturesque village of Bilston in Leicestershire, is one of them. Fiona, the shelter manager, tells us more. Uh, the charity was originally founded in the 1950s with people, I think, holding animals in their own homes or in the kennels and catteries. In 1977, it became a registered charity, and in 1997, the site that we're on now, Fairwinds, was purchased. Each animal is looked after on a day-to-day -day basis before they find their new home. We walk all the dogs, every dog gets a walk every single day. Um, and then hopefully at 12 o'clock that's all finished and that's when customers are allowed to come in and view the animals. But we try to give them as much human contact as possible so when they do go to the new homes, you know, they're not shy of people. As with humans, animals are affected by illness and need treatment and care to get them back on all fours. The animals at Fairwinds are no different. Um, when an animal comes into us, be it dog or cat, they're feed and worm treated straight away. We make sure before any animal leaves, the microchips are completed. We do at the moment, but if they are vaccinated, we do pass records on to new owners so they can just continue with that. All this love and care can only be achieved with the funding the centre receives. Unfortunately, Fairwinds does not receive any government funding, meaning any money they need has to be self-generated. Fairwinds has its own dedicated charity shop and also runs a sponsored walk once a year. The charity shop is situated on the corner of Evington Road and St Stephen's Road. Unfortunately, as wonderful as the contributions and donations have been, the shelter would still benefit enormously from more funding. Uh, more funding, uh, obviously it will keep us going. Uh, we do have quite high electric bills for the heating of the kennels and the cattery. It may enable us to start vaccinations for dogs and cats, hopefully send them out that way. Um, at the moment that's something we can't afford to do with the, the cost of those. It will help us continue to care for the dogs, replacing beds, um, toys, we do buy in some food as well for specific needs of dogs and that can be quite expensive. Also the cats as well, sometimes we need a sensitivity food, things like that. Uh, the funding we have received most recently has helped us build a new kennel block. It's, it's a very modern block, very nice block, lots of space for the dogs. Um, we've got 12, 12 new kennels over there so that's increased our pack capacity from 16 to 28 dogs. through. Wonderful volunteers, Mick and Judy, doing our car boot sales for us on a, a Sunday in Saddington. That's enabled us to buy things like a, an industrial washing machine and dryer. Um, the uniforms that we wear as well, that all comes from the funding that they, they provide. Because of all the wonderful donations and fundraising, Fairwinds is able to... <laughs> have found a loving home, Fairwinds goes above and beyond by providing an amazing level of aftercare. And the funding also allowed us to have a kennel consultation uh, last year which has helped us with the dogs keeping them calm um, in the environment because it's quite a stressful environment. <coughs> <coughs> on a weekly basis with the dogs addressing some of the issues that they may well come in with. My role is to help the staff learn how to cope with the more difficult dogs in their care. That all came about nearly two years ago now when I just contacted the centre offering my services. At that time <clears throat> I think they were utilising somebody else. I then got a bit of newspaper coverage of the Leicester Mercury detailing the work I was doing at other rescue centres and then Fiona contacted me and said can you come over and I've been coming most Fridays ever since then 
working with their most difficult dogs so they get a better chance of rehoming them. As with any rescue centre, the hardest part of their jobs is rehoming the animals. Fairwinds likes to make sure that any animal leaving the shelter will have the best quality of life possible. With um, the cats, we do area checks uh, just to make sure that the cats aren't going to a main road. We try and make it as safe as possible for them, but with cats it is a very quick process of people making an appointment once they've passed the area check. The cat, if it's ready, can go on the same day. With the dogs, um, we ask that people are at home most of the day, most days of the week, so that the dog isn't left alone for more than four hours in any one given day. Um, we also ask we ask if people are used to having dogs, if they've had large breed dogs before or small breed dogs, whatever they're planning on looking at um, before, so that we know they're going to be familiar with dogs. As we know, there are over 50 animal rescue centres in the Midlands alone, fighting for contributions to fund the well-being of their animals. There are thousands of cats and dogs striving to impress and be rehomed each year with only a small proportion actually finding a home. The small or continual donations that people make will help cater and fund the rescue centres. With its long history stretching over 60 years of looking after animals, Fairwinds is a great example of a progressing rescue centre, and with our continued support, we'll continue to do so into the future years.